Hey everyone, I'm Kevin with Victory 4x4. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install a roof rack on this FJ Cruiser. Okay, so the first step is going to be to assemble your rack on the ground, um, which just kind of makes it easier for the actual install to the vehicle. So go ahead and lay out your side rails, your front fairings, and all your crossbars. Um, the first part of this assembly is going to be to assemble the crossbars to the side rails. So at this point, you're ready to install the crossbars to the side rails. A couple things to note here before assembly. On your crossbars, we cut T-slots for you to be able to install nuts to secure all your gear. You're just gonna wanna make sure those are oriented up. And typically we face them to the driver's side, but it's kind of your preference. As long as they're all facing the same direction, you'll be good to go there. And then you're gonna utilize a three quarter long button head bolt and washer you want to be sure when you're installing these to use just a little bit of anti-seize lubricant since they're going into this aluminum to prevent any galling or binding during install. And with the anti-seize applied, you can go ahead and install it through this slotted hole and then into your crossbar. And you can run those most of the way in. Just make sure to leave them a little bit loose so that you can adjust the front to back orientation a little bit later. And we found it's easiest to do this all the way down one side and then go ahead and jump to the other side and do the same thing all the way down there. Now we can install our fairings. First, we're gonna have to install our edge trim. Um, in order to do that, I'm gonna take the front fairing and kind of the goal here is to cover point to point. So you can go ahead and start one edge going just past the end of that point. Push it on in a few places here so that it spans all the way across the front of your fairing. And then just kind of make a mark or as I'm gonna do here is hold my thumb just past what'll be my point and give me enough length. And then we're gonna go ahead and trim it. Uh, I'm gonna trim it using a set of tin snips because there is an aluminum strip that you're gonna to have to cut through in there. And now with everything cut, we can go ahead and press that firmly on in place. Okay, so now that we have our edge trim installed, we can go ahead and install our front fairing. To do this, you're gonna be using the same three quarter inch long bolts that we used on the side rails, except now you're gonna be threading those into a serrated edge flange nut. Okay, now that we have all the bolts installed for our front fairing, we're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and slide this all the way up and then snug it in place. And that's just gonna keep it up out of the way and off of the roof once we're setting it down onto the vehicle. Okay, now working on the rear fairing, you're gonna take the excess edge trim left over from the front and you're just gonna cut it in half. And now that you have two pieces, you're just gonna to wanna to put one over each point on the rear. And now you can go ahead and install this fairing to the side rails. Okay, so at this point, we can go ahead and install the roof mount brackets to the side rails. Um, they're easily identifiable by an F M and R cut in the brackets to tell you front, middle, rear. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to identify your lefts and rights as well. Right now I'm working on the passenger side, so I'm just gonna make sure that my front mount angles slightly toward the rear of the vehicle and that my round holes are facing down toward the roof and the slots are actually where I'm gonna be installing it to the side rail right now. 
And again, for this, you're going to be using the same three quarter inch long hardware that you've been using all along so far. And now with the bolts installed, what I like to do here is just push the bracket down as far as possible. And that way it'll raise the rack up as high as possible from the roof line just to give you enough clearance when you're sitting it down on the vehicle that you don't have to worry about damaging your paint. Okay, next I'll install my middle bracket. Again, checking for my M cut in. I'm gonna be putting the round holes again down towards the roof line and the slots into my side rail. And then this middle bracket, you wanna make sure it angles forward to the front of the vehicle. Okay, now we can install our rear mount. So this one's actually gonna be a straight cut, but there is a taper cut into the side of it that's gonna angle down toward the front of the vehicle like so. Okay, so now in preparation to install our roof rack, you need to prepare your factory roof. Um, in order to do that, it's gonna kind of depend on how your vehicle was equipped from the factory. You're either gonna have a factory rack or you're just gonna have some factory cover plates. Um, this vehicle already had the rack removed, but it's gonna be a similar process either way. You're gonna have six bolts down each side um, again, either hiding under cover plates or holding down your rack. And then they're going to be sandwiching these washer plates in underneath the rack as well. Um, you can go ahead and discard those and discard the factory bolts. Okay, and one thing to note that we have experienced at times is when removing the bolts, your nut plate, your factory nut plate under the factory roof line may fall into the vehicle. But don't panic, it's not a huge deal. Um, you may just need to use a pick or a small screwdriver and kind of line that back up with the hole and using a longer bolt, you can pull that back up to the roof and get it lined up with our rack once it's set down on. Okay, so with all your factory hardware out of the way, now you need to prep these slots for installation. Um, first thing you're gonna do is just go ahead and wipe that out, blow it out with some air, whatever you gotta do to get it free of any dirt or debris in preparation for install. Um, once you got it cleaned out, you can go ahead and install a nice bead of RTV sealant around each hole. And then go ahead and do that on all of your bolt holes before you set our rack down on. Okay, so now that you had a friend help you set your rack up on the roof and get it roughly lined up, you're ready to install some bolts. Um, first, just to note, you may, it may be necessary to loosen back up the bracket mounting bolts that you snugged in place earlier just to help with the alignment here. And then before installing your bolts, you wanna go ahead and put another little bit of RTV over the hole so that the bolt actually has to pass through it and make sure everything's sealed up nice that way. And then for hardware here, you're gonna be using the larger M8 bolts and washers in your kit and a five millimeter Allen T-handle or socket. And with both of those started, you can go ahead and tighten them up. And then do the same thing on the rest of your brackets. Okay, so with all your mounts tight to the roof, now you can go ahead and adjust them and tighten them up here on the outside. Um, the one thing you're really gonna wanna make sure of when you're doing this is just kinda checking that you have an even gap all the way across the roof line here so it looks appropriate. Um, but yeah, once you got that gap, all set, go ahead and tighten everything down. Okay, now that you have the side rail height adjusted, you can go ahead and tighten down all your crossbars. What we like to do here is just kind of center them up in the slots for aesthetic purposes, um, but you might have to move them around a little bit to fit whatever gear you're gonna be installing on your rack. So now with all of our mounting hardware tight, we can go ahead and work on our front and rear fairings. Um, the first step we're gonna recommend in that is installing some of this 3M clear protective film. And that's gonna sit just underneath your edge trim and that's gonna prevent any dirt or debris that might get caught in there from scratching your paint over time. Okay, so now that everything's close to where it's gonna sit, you can kind of see where you're gonna to need to apply that film. So get a good idea of that. And then you can go ahead and remove these front two mounting bolts and that'll allow you to swing this front fairing up and out of the way far enough to be able to place that film on the paint. 
But before you put that pr protective film down, you're gonna need to clean that painted surface. I'm gonna be using a little bit of paint prep wax and grease remover. You could also use like some rubbing alcohol, just something that's not gonna leave a film behind like your automotive detailing products typically would. Okay, now that we have our protective film installed on the roof, we can go ahead and swing this fairing back down in place and reinstall the bolts. Okay, now that we have all those bolts reinstalled, we can go ahead and push the fairing down tight to the roof and then tighten everything up. Okay, and so just a note, when installing the protective film in the rear, you're just gonna need a couple small strips to go underneath your edge trim because that's the only two places that this fairing is actually gonna make contact with your vehicle's roof. So that's it for this roof rack install. If you guys have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 269-459-8447 or shoot us an email at info at victory4x4.com.